again as we jump into the land of dawn with Taz starting on the orange buff and Del Rosario doing the same on the opposite side. Slow start for both these junglers. They are tankier junglers essentially. So they are going to be playing a lot more for utility. But I guess Taz on the Akai can be a lot more aggressive. And just like that, you can see that the Philippines, they really enjoy using Villa Luna to try get a lot of information and just be a big nuisance. And you can see the response coming in from the Indonesian players. The Philippines already dictating what the movements are going to be. Both teams, again, just fighting for that mid control that is so prio, so necessary now in this current meta. Both Taz and Del Rosario are looking to go for this Lethal Wanderer, but it does feel like Indonesia will have a bit more of an advantage with the faster wave clear in the mid lane. That's the Lethal Wanderer secured by Taz, getting him a bit more XP and gold to play with. So he'll have that power spike very early on, already at level 4. As we mentioned, the wave clear game is now being a lot more monitored, a lot more managed by the players from the side of Indonesia. They've suffered from it once, they are not trying to suffer the same fate again. So right now, they're just moving around, and I think before the first turtle spawns, it's going to be relatively slow, but as I say that though... Uh-oh, there you go, Ooh. that's the barrier with a wild charge. Psychos now going to be caught, first blood over to Philippines, but look at Taz, he's able to bring the members back in with a heavy spin. Del Rosario going to fall. The jungler for the XP lane and Dapda oh. will be forced to flicker out of there. Villa Luna a bit late on this rotation to match up against the Indonesian mid laners. But it is still just going to be a one for one. So one for one. So both teams now holding their own. But this is where things get a bit hairy. The first turtle where everyone has their ultimates. We have to see who can actually weave in the better team fight. No ultimate for Del Rosario just now. Taz gonna go for it. Will be able to secure the turtle with a brilliant retribution. Dreams gets knocked up, but Ooh. Philippines decide to back off. Now Dreams flickering forward, gets the divine judgment onto Iman, who's able to flicker away. Psychots has a black dragon form, looking for it. Just decides to zone the Filipino members here and backs off. And back away, and we can take a look at how. The changes have impacted this Faramis, right? The Cult Altar was used in that fight, and with one single spell, the rest of the team from Indonesia is able to melt down that HP bar. So it really isn't an all-win teamfight solution, but it is very situationally used to s help save members from big burst damage. Now it's a complete change from game number one. Imam, though, gonna be immobilized. That's the damage coming through. Woof. Sniped down by Brands, but the kill will go over to Hijume. Brands sacrificing a bit of gold there in the bottom side, but will still be able to catch up down below to pick up that cannon minion. With stronger laners on the hands of the Indonesian players, they are now able to actually match the aggression, the fights, the skirmishes from the members of the Philippines. And now you can see that the Kaja pick is just having a lot more impact. This is what they wanted to do in game number one, but the macro play coming in from the Philippines was able to deny that. That won't be the case for this game though, and now this becomes a contest of proactivity. Who can have uh, the higher work rate, the more versatile maneuvers, and just the more proactive plays? And this is the reason as to why I felt like the Leslie should have been the one, the hero, to be banned out by Team Philippines. Because you can see, on this Leslie, sure, you're very vulnerable. But you also are really good at actually going at duels up against the Beatrix. I would actually say in a 1v1, it's skill dependent. But Leslie has a bit of an edge. Why? Because he doesn't need to target any of his skills. It's not a skill shot. Meanwhile, for um, the Beatrix, you need to go for those render shots to actually uh, be able to compete in that range battle. We have to be careful though, because Soriano has the Blade of Despair completed. It will be a big factor in the next fight. The Turtle is being pressured for both teams, but it seems like the Indonesians will have a bit of a lead in the Ooh. control game. Divine Judgment and the Petrify. Imam going to be able to pop the Cold Altar. Taz against three members, Woo. still able to secure the Turtle. Right now, Psychot jumps in with the Black Dragon form, zoning the backline away. Dapadap going to be pinned down onto the wall with the heavy spin. And that's Hijume who picks up the killing spree. Everything going well for Indonesia and everything going wrong for Philippines in the early game of game two. They lose a member to the pickoff, they lose a turtle to the steal. So Indonesia is completely taking over and looking completely different. Is this a momentum thing? We'll just have to see. Hijume with the Ice Queens 1 right now will ensure that the Filipino members need to be a bit more careful, even more careful in how they want to position. They've been getting caught out without that slow as well. 
Brands has just been farming up a storm. I really want to take a look at this oh. item, right? It's a good steal by Soriano, but he got full turret gold, clearing waves constantly. He should have more gold than Soriano here with the assist that he got as well. But here in the mid lane, the bottom side river, Del Rosario going to be chained up again. And that's the pin down with a heavy spin. Del Rosario going to fall for the second time in this game. Dreams with another divine judgment over the Imam. As that's the Buru's passion, dealing no damage over the Taz, who jumps in again. Soriano zoned away, but the damage coming from Brands shooting him down. Dap Dap finally rotating towards that bottom side, but it's a bit too late once again. Team Philippines falling more and more behind as we go and progress into the game. The Philippines are having very much trouble trying to manage distance because they're being slowed an insane amount. At any moment, it starts with the slow and then it gets followed up with the Divine Judgment, with the heavy spin. So Indonesia's pickoff game is going exactly how they want it to. And right now, they also have the advantage when it comes to range and it also when it comes to that late game. They have that artillery with the real wood manipulation and they also have the Leslie that can do a lot of true damage up to 2k in a single hit. And in the late game, Soriano will have a lot of issues trying to get any impact done in the middle of a big team fight. There's so much CC from Team Indonesia. There's a lot of survivability from Philippines, but they need to be able to utilize that crazy engage from the wild charge. And right now, it just doesn't feel like they are going to be able to. Taz there going for the turtle. That's going to be the real world inflation that was popped Ooh. in to force Soriano to flicker out. They baited out the cult altar oh. and they baited out Villa Luna into the other side of the wall. Mid lane turn going to be sieged down. Brands looking to just to poke the Filipino members but it's a good disengage by both teams. It's still a small victory for Indonesia with that turtle take. Look at how much, how much movement, how much of a reaction you can see from the Filipino players whenever Psychos is on the map, whenever Instant. he makes an appearance. He wasn't even popping the Black Dragon from initially and everybody was walking backwards in fear of that engage coming through. And when you are so focused like that, you are not looking at Taz with a heavy spin. You are not looking at Dreams waiting for that Divine Judgment. What I want to look at is definitely the items here for Brands because I wonder how much gold he's actually gone this game. So far, he has been left untouched to free farm. And he's doing so much damage. That's going to be the flicker over to Divine Judgment as well to find Del Rosario. The true damage does its work. Brands picks up the kill. Dap it up, trying to look for a re-engage now, but only taunting Taz. Look at the poke put down by Brands. Dream's gonna be in the midst of it all right now as he is gonna be able to dish out some damage to zone the other members away. Dream still there with Psycho X from Psychots with a petrified of fine Soriano and the furious dive to get Imam low under the tier one. Gunned down by Brands. It's a 2 0 trade for Indonesia. Unreal execution coming in from Indonesia right now. We thought that Psychots was the main distraction. He was the one coming in from behind. You barely notice it until it's way, way too late. Let's take a look at oh that man. replay right now. The fight was breaking up. There's a lot of action back and forth. And Psychots out of Again. nowhere. The tower doesn't even matter because it's way too low. Indonesia able to actually push Philippines into a very uncomfortable position. And now, with the, the, all the advantages when it comes to crowd control, when it comes to damage, they are looking at a cruising victory in game number two. This is insane. Unreal. That's the word you can use for it, right? So much doubt for this Indonesian team after they qualified to represent Indonesia with only a week to prepare right after qualifying still able to play super well and now they're rotating towards that top side taz soloing that lord del rosario caught no one there oh, to help no. him out has to use the wild charge defensively and will lose out on a lot of hp brand still is able to get out has the flicker they're gonna go in for another re-engage here just some poke down onto the frontliners and you can see that true damage rashi i really wonder what the items are looking like right now because the damage is pretty unreal already in nine minutes for a Leslie. It comes with a true damage and when you're concerned about a true damage, you can actually feel the burn coming in as Look well. At Look at the items as you mentioned. That of the Wind Talker, the Endless Battle as well, allows him to get so much more burst damage initially and after that, the Berserker's Fury allows him to dish out a healthy amount of DPS. On the other hand, you can see the Yeeve Right, Hijumi with the 
going on. All these tanky members are taking percentage HP damage whenever he's dishing out these spells, and they are absolutely spammable. And the Siege game is dangerous. Luna going to be caught in that real-world manipulation. Imam as well, zoned away. The wave manipulation from Indonesia, absolutely phenomenal as they are going to be able to use the Lord down below to pick up a turret. With Psychot zoning the other members away with a Black Dragon form as well. That's base turret number one taken down. Top side pushing in, but Indonesia will decide to just play it slow. Clear out the mid lane and reset. They have an absolute advantage when it comes down to those siege situations. Having the Yave, having the Leslie means that you do not have to go and force those fights because there's no other way for the Philippines to dish back that kind of damage. Soriano is the only solution they have. And at this point, when the only option you have, yeah, if it, when you only have a single option, it becomes very easy for your opponents to try and adjust to that. But the Philippines, it seems like they are not willing to completely concede control just yet. They need to be very careful though because the flank game, that flank game is just so on point from Indonesia right now. This is what we saw in game one, only just the opposite happening here in game two. Indonesia having control ten, the whole ten minutes early on. Philippines with a very similar flanking position here Conceal. to look for something, but it's going to be a conceal play from Indonesia. And oh my god, Dreams! Oh right to Divine Judgment onto the best possible target. Soriano's out. Dapadap has to flicker out, but Psychos chases him down with a passive. Dapadap still surviving here. Only one member taken down, but that might just be the member that Indonesia needs to pick up some more base turrets. That high ground control is no longer available for Soriano. Dapadap trying to go in for some damage right there, but it's actually going to be petrified from him, Bob! He's going to be taken down, the wild charge in desperation. Villa Luna in the back, has to back off. It's an absolutely insane game and an insane performance from Indonesia as they knock Philippines down to the lower brackets. How? What? Oh my, we have no words left right now. How was that possible? That is insane from Indonesia. The awareness to know where are the members from the Philippines, who to target in the middle of everything against a team as patient, as disciplined as the Philippines. Dream was able to find Soriano. And even afterwards, Psychots just denying that cult altar by going with that Petrify Furious Dive combo. Everything is just going so smoothly for them. It doesn't make sense. How is this possible?